Okay, if you ever get a message like this where your update has failed, especially if you get it repeatedly after trying it a few times, I'm going to show you how you can clear this error and start again. Be aware that this is going to cause it to re-download the entire update. So if you have a data plan with a data limit, uh, be aware that it's going to cause a, a large download again. All right, to understand what's going on here, Windows stores its downloads on the C drive, your OS drive, in the Windows directory, and there's a directory called Software Distribution. We come down here, and we should find it. There it is. And if we open this up, there's different files in there, but one of the things it does, it downloads the entire update there. And by the way, it also maintains a database of all your uh, history of all your downloads as well. So we're going to have to clear out this directory to do that, but we can't delete it or rename it because it's in use by the system. So here's how you stop the services that release that directory so we can take care of it. So in order to stop those services, we're going to either use the command prompt or PowerShell to issue the commands to stop the services. So you can do that a couple of ways. Uh, you can just type in command prompt here and you'll get a list. Once you get there, you have to right click on it and say run as administrator. This gives us permissions in order to uh, do certain commands. We're going to do a couple of commands here. And these commands, will, by the way, will be in the description of this video if you want to copy and paste them. But the first one we're going to do is we're going to say net stop. And then it's going to be the service. So if you watch here, when I hit enter, the update service is stopping. And now that it's stopping, we're going to issue the second command. And that's to stop the background intelligent transfer service. Okay, and then it's stopping, and now it's a completely stopped. So it's released the handle or the control over that directory. Now, realistically, you can just go out and delete the software distribution directory, but I like to rename it, keep the old copy in case something strange goes on. But here's software distribution. I right click on it, say rename, and I'm going to call it soft dist, so I know what it is. Later on, I'll delete this after everything's successful. So I don't need this information anymore. So there we are. We have now have it renamed. And we're going to go and we're going to have to turn on uh, the services again. Realistically, you can just reboot your system and it'll start back up. But let's go ahead and do it here with the same command prompt we had open before. We're going to show in slightly different commands. And as you might guess, uh, we're going to do a, a net start. And so it does exactly the same thing as we saw before. So it's net start, and we're going to do the service. And we're going to get a message. It says it's starting. It says it was successful. So I'm going to do the same thing for the bits system. We're going to hit that and hit it, enter, and it's starting, and it's successful. So now that we see that the software distribution uh, directory has been redone, we're done here. So we're going to say exit here and get the command prompt out of the way. Now on this screen it's already done, but you'll still have the error message there and you'll go and check for updates. Now uh, note that it may take a while for the updates to actually uh, download because it's checking a new history of everything. It'll take a little bit longer to get status. Now in this case, on mine, it's only going to find a virus definition update because I've already fixed everything. In yours it'll find a failed update and any other updates that are pending since uh, you redid it. And it'll download it just like you see here. Also in your case, it'll uh, go through the process of whatever it is, installing it, getting ready to reboot, whatever, and you'll see the correct message here. Um, and hopefully everything's OK. If you get a failed message again, it's probably something on Microsoft's end that that update is, uh, is a bad update and they're going to fix it. You may want to try it in a day or so. Uh, but for the most part, this should clear your queue and have everything ready to go. Now, one side effect of this, if you click on your update history, you only see the one since you blew away the directory and started it again because it's only going to show that the history that was there is now gone because we removed the files. So there you have it, how to clear a failed update that seems to be stuck, repeating the download, trying over and over again. Uh, this should clear it out and allow you to complete your successful update. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.